A 63-year-old financial analyst in Chicago is facing some serious felony charges because of the fact that he used what's referred to as a jammer on public transportation in order to make everyone on that you know, car or in that car lose reception on their cell phones, okay? This is incredible. Now, in the United States, if you seek to purchase such device, you are breaking a law, and it has serious penalties involved. Uh, but Dennis Nickel was so annoyed with people talking on their cell phones when he was using public transportation that he took matters into his own hands, bought one of these devices online through China, and then proceeded to mess around on these, you know, cars and get people. See, pissed we're losing. Off. We're losing to China. We're losing. We're losing. We, to we China. can't win anymore. Look at what the Chinese have done to us. They're, they're blocking our cell phones. So I, I love this story, except I feel bad for him because of the charges he's facing. Look, it's. If it's you a need mixed to, bag. It's it a is. mixed bag. It's a very complex case. So let me give you all the details, and then we'll go back and. But forth before on you it. do, it shows Mark shot again. Because he looks like exactly the kind of guy who'd be annoyed by other people talking on their totally, cell phones. Totally. Like, when are they going to turn off the goddamn cell phones? So my favorite part of the story is one of his coworkers is like, he's like, he's a totally nice guy. He's quiet. He keeps to himself. He's a little antisocial, you think? <laughs> right? So that goes to the heart of, of why he's doing this, which we'll get to at the end. So let's give you the more details. All right. So his uh, lawyer has already spoken to the media, and he's, of course, defending his client. He says he's disturbed by people talking around him. He might have been selfish in thinking about himself, but he didn't have any malicious intent. Now, if you want to know what the fines are for such behavior, in at least one case, a Florida resident was hit with a $48,000 fine for using a cell phone jamming device as he commuted daily around Tampa. So this has happened before. Uh, and also, he told officials that he wanted to prevent motorists from using their cell phones while driving. So the way that Nickel got caught is he was, you know, using the train, and all of a sudden, there was a guy who noticed him taking out this device. Now, it's not really a discrete device. As you can see in the picture, it has a bunch of antennas. It's mm -hmm. a big black thing. And um, basically... He noticed, okay, this guy's taking this device out, and all of a sudden, all of these calls drop. So what's going on with that? He took a picture, and that's the picture that went viral online, and then officials did a sting operation, and they caught him. He did the same thing on, yeah. a, on a train. Yeah. Because he does it every day, yeah. right? So here comes the mixed bag part. On the one hand, I feel bad for the guy. He's obviously one of those, somebody put a grade here. Um, this guy named Robison said, this was a, basically a digital stay off my lawn. Mm -hmm. Like, man, nah, you're all talking around me. I don't like it. Okay, and zap everybody's phones. Mm -hmm. You can't do this, right? Um, first of all, somebody could have been calling 911. They could have been having a conversation about an emergency on the train, right? Mm -hmm. So other than that, you're not allowed to hang up on everybody. That's just not how it works. The other guy in, that in Florida, oh, I didn't like people talking on their uh, cell phones. Well, then get a law passed saying that you can't talk in your car, right? right? But we live in a democracy. You can't just hang up on everybody, right? So I would be super annoyed if I was in the car and this, uh, some bitch hung up on me. But I don't hate the guy. I feel sorry for the guy. I feel sorry for him too, but he is not learning his lesson because he got in trouble for the same thing back in 2009 and he was charged with a misdemeanor. He didn't learn. Fast forward to today and, of course, he's now dealing with a felony. Um, by the way, uh, when he first got charged with the misdemeanor, they're like, all right, we're not going to throw you in jail. We're just going to, you know, monitor you and make sure that you're following the law. But now he's uh, charged with unlawful interference with a public utility. And again, that's a felony. So there could be some uh, prison time as a result of this. Now, as I'm reading through the story, I'm thinking, ah, let him go. Like, he, he's not, he doesn't have a good life. This is not the guy to beat up on. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Like. Yeah, I know you're annoyed that he hung up on your cell phone, but believe me, his life is much worse, right? Yeah. So, but and I was and I even came to a conclusion before I got to the end of the story, just give him a misdemeanor, tell him not to do it again. But, but he's going to do it again. No, I know. Then at the end of the story, I saw, "Oh, this guy's been doing it since 2009. We already gave him the misdemeanor." Yeah. And then there's also the antisocial thing that makes me have some sort of sympathy towards him. Yeah. But at the same time, this is a little bit about control, mm -hmm. right? And it's a little scary. Like, uh, I, you guys don't get to tell me what to do, or I, you, I tell you what to do, mm -hmm. <clears throat> right? So, no, nah, no, nah, dude, if you'd done it once because you're a crabby old man and you know you're eating TV dinners by yourself, 
I want to give you a hug and give you a misdemeanor and just call it a day. Yeah. But if you're doing this over and over again and not listening to the authorities, well, then then, then it's got to be a felony yeah. and there's got to be consequences. I agree. I mean, I think the charges make sense. I think that they fit the crime. I don't want to throw them in prison for a year. I don't want to throw them in prison for a month. But there should be some punishment that kind of gets the point across so he doesn't do it again. Yeah, I mean, if I had a nickel for every time my cell phone was blocked. His name is Dennis Nickel, get it? <laughs> <laughs>